When it comes to education, we are all open to creative approaches to learning. But did one teacher go too far? Have a look. What would you do if your child asked for help with this homework question? Ursula was devastated when her boyfriend broke up with her after having sex. To get revenge, she had sex with his best friend the next day. Ursula had a beautiful baby girl nine months later. Ursula has type O blood, her ex-boyfriend has AB blood, and his best friend is type A blood. If her baby daddy is her ex-boyfriend, what could the possible blood types of her baby not be? 1A, 2B, 3O, or four, both A and B. When a Florida father read this exact question on his 11th grade daughter's anatomy worksheet, he was outraged. What the heck? This is just sad and a disgrace to our educational system. Where the hell are our schools going? Okay, so a few people saying not appropriate. Is there anybody saying it's appropriate? Yeah, no, I, and I think this is like a really misguided attempt to relate to people and make this sort of something that kids will get and therefore they're going to answer this biology question. I just think this doesn't have a place anywhere. I think it's normalizing behavior that we shouldn't really be condoning in anyone, not just in teenagers. And, and without doubt, school, it, along with that home with your parents, is one of the, one of the ways you need sex education to get that. But in the format of this question, I don't think that's the best way to approach it. Good intention, poor execution, because I like the concept of making things real world-like. I just think that this is inappropriate. But my question is, where do you draw the line? I'm sure that the way this question was worded got the students' attention yeah. when it comes to trying to understand blood types, which can be a little confusing, so yeah. definitely got the kids. I mean, but I think attention. I think on the flip side, there's there's one thing about making it kind of relevant and relatable. On the flip side, as kind of as educators and people who should be setting a model and educating our students so that they go forward and be reasonable, responsible people, I think when you put in the question that revenge sex is really normal the next day after you break up with your boyfriend, then you're kind of making that sound like that's what everybody should be doing. And we know that teenagers are having sex, right? The CDC says that about 47% of high school students have already had sex. I think the much more alarming statistic is that about half of STDs, of all STDs, are in people 15 to 24. That's 10 million wow. cases a year. So when you put things like this and you normalize it, I think it's just a horrible message to send, whether they're 11th graders or they're 35. I mean, I just don't think this is the way people should be conducting themselves. Point well taken. And obviously the school district did agree because this is an excerpt from the official statement from Duval County Public School District. The question was highly inappropriate and was not part of a district assessment. We are thankful to the parent who contacted the school directly to share his concerns. Immediately upon being made aware of this matter, school and district leaders began conducting a review of the situation. Appropriate and corrective action will be taken. And incidentally, because this was a biology question, would you like to provide the answer, Dr. Batra? <laughs> Well, the answer would have been type O, because type A and type B are dominant blood types. So the only thing the baby could not have been is O if both of her partners were that.